Weeks of protests and police crackdowns as students at Columbia University called for disinvestment from Israel, showing support for the pro-Palestinian cause. And soon these scenes were mirrored across campuses nationwide. There's often a lot more fanfare and blue gowns on these streets at Columbia University's main Morningside campus. But that's not really the case this time around. Following protests over the Israel-Gaza war, the university decided to cancel its annual traditional commencement ceremony, opting instead for smaller ceremonies at individual schools. Across the Harlem River, celebratory music marked the start of New York University's commencement ceremony at Yankee Stadium. Despite the rain, thousands of graduates packed the venue, marking the end of the academic journey. Today, as we face a world of war and polarization, this is as important as ever. The enduring desire to be open to those most like, unlike us. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., the House Judiciary Subcommittee on the Constitution held a hearing on anti-Semitism on college campuses. The U.S. House representatives heard testimonies from Jewish students detailing their experiences on campus following weeks of pro-Palestinian protests. This is not just an issue for Jews. It is an issue for all Americans. Because on October 7th, Israel was physically attacked, but ideologically, every free country had been infiltrated. Because the same people who wave the flags of Hamas are burning the flag of the United States. I am a firm believer in the First Amendment. But the vandalism, assault, and trespassing that is taking place across college campuses are conduct, not speech. More specifically, it is unlawful conduct. But while lawmakers interrogate the origins of the campus protests, pro-Palestinian students maintain they will not be silenced. While Democrats say the time has come for decisive action to deal with campus protests and not another hearing. Jody Jacobs, CGTN, New York.